Hi, dreamers. A little while ago, I tweeted out a question that got a lot of response. It was, I'm connected to a lot of millionaires here, so let's give back. What financial advice would you give someone in their 20s? Go. <laughs> Legit, that was lightning outside. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> today I'm going to share their valuable advice with you. Let's take a look. So I'm going to cover some of my favorite responses. And the first one is from Jeremy. He said, it might be controversial, but don't invest only in your 401k or IRA. So many people neglect the taxable brokerage account and then have millions in retirement, but no flexibility before then. I want options to stop working if I want to at 40, 45, 50, and not have to wait until 55 plus. And that's a great point by Jeremy. See, you think that you're saving enough for your future just by doing your 401k, but by investing in a taxable account, the amount that you can invest every year is unlimited. And I actually covered that aha in a really old video that I made. But I wanted to point out one more thing. Rebecca points out, however, a little known rule called 72T does give some flexibility, especially with the higher rates today. And so if you're interested in what that 72T is, I actually created an entire video dedicated it called Retirement Plan Sheet. And actually, this is part of my big grand plan. As I get closer to the point where I'm living off of my dividends and options full time. So if you have a minute, watch that video because it could actually change your the timeline of how you're planning things completely. All right, let's continue to see what the millionaire said. So Dividend Daddy says, keep your three biggest expenses low, housing, transportation, and food for as long as you can and invest the savings. And this was one of the concepts that I covered in the video that I made in my dream series on expenses. And around the one minute mark, you can see that in a typical US household, 34% of the, the expenditures goes to housing, 16% goes to transportation, and food is 12%. And then everything else makes up the difference. And so he's right. If you can really focus on those particular expenses on your balance sheet, you can really make a dent in your expenses. Okay, Stone Grin Trade says, there's no better time to take a chance than in your 20s. Certainly risk is real and it can be scary, but now's the time. Invest in yourself, assets, and experiences. And I responded at the time that I love this because quite honestly, as life goes on, you take less and less risks. And, and I don't really have many regrets in life, but if there was one I might say, it's that I actually didn't take enough risks. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm actually a pretty conservative investor, even to this day. So I totally agree with him. Take a risk. I mean, the biggest risks that I took was investing in myself in terms of education, and that absolutely paid off. So I would encourage you to really think about that advice. Where could you invest in yourself and your assets? Take pen to paper and really think about that. All right, Otis says, sacrifice some lifestyle and a few weekends to work more and contribute more to retirement accounts. They have a very powerful wealth multiplier in their 20s that they will never get back, which is time. And this was another concept I covered in my video, Money Multiply Like Warren Buffett, where I talked about the compounding effect and how it actually works with some example scenarios. <laughs> Master P says, buy the effing dip, never sell no matter what the financial newspapers are saying. And that's actually great advice because if you read all of the pundits talking about whether or not a stock is going to go up or down, you'd be selling and buying constantly. And the reality is a long-term hold on the right stocks will pay off handsomely over time. Don't let headlines play with your emotion and lead you to make moves that would otherwise hurt you. All right, Dividend Quest says there's no such thing as easy money. So work smart and invest early and get your priorities right. I couldn't agree more. There really isn't a get rich quick or easy path. Most of the folks that are millionaires are actually self-made and did so really thinking about how to get smart with money and their career. All right, Barry says start investing as early as you can and with whatever you can. Start simple, index ETFs increase your investments as often as you can, and just stay focused on the long term. I think this is really important because some people think, well, I'm not rich enough to be an investor. 
I can't even call myself an investor. I only have $10 or $100. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Listen, I started with $0. You have to start somewhere. You can open up a brokerage account. They're free. And just start putting whatever money you have left over in the week or the month to start the process. All right, Matt said, what you think your future will be like when you're 25 will most likely be completely different. Case in point, I started off as a mechanical engineer working on aircraft engines. And after seven years, I changed careers and went back to school for accounting. <laughs> Did I see that coming back when I graduated engineering school? Nope. Just be ready to pivot. I think that's great practical advice. As life goes on, you just can't see around the corner. You're going to have relationship crisis, career crisis, maybe even health crisis. So build your finance fortress in a way that you can pivot pretty easily. Ren says three things. Number one, your spouse has to be on the exact same game plan that you are on. Number two, max out any 401k program that your company offers and invest in established US and European companies, preferably with dividends. And the last one is avoid gimmicks like, like crypto raffle tickets, pyramid schemes, etc. And then make your investing choice a lifestyle. Thanks, Ren. Fantastic advice. Milo Trader says, invest in at least 10% of your take home pay, even if you don't think you can afford it. And if you don't know what to invest in, just pick VU or VTI to start. And I think that's really practical advice. Now, whether you can save 10% or 5% or 2%, just start with a percentage that you think you can live with. And I think it's really practical advice as well, that if what's holding you back is the fear or maybe even just not knowing what to select, there are some broad-based ETFs like VU or VTI that will get you started and will get you a little more comfortable so that you can take the next step with other positions if you're interested. Now, Josh says, stay away from cars, bars, drugs, and women. All will leave you broke and drained. <laughs> wow. Start a brokerage, a Roth, find a duplex to buy, and stack cash for the next 10 years. And if you can, live with mom and dad as long as you can. But don't take advantage. And I think what Josh is saying is, be as frugal as you can and as smart as you can early on in your life. Because if you stack cash early in the first 10 years, you'll really start to accelerate much earlier in your life. Now, Mark says, learn what you're good at. Make a budget, make mistakes, maximize any matched money, invest in low cost broad indexes or ETFs. And you know what? Take that exotic vacation. All of these make sense and really echo what people are saying. But the last one I love too, take that exotic vacation. At some point, you need to actually live life. And if you wait to take your exotic vacations or really spend any money on luxuries until the very end, the question is, what are you doing it all for anyway? And to me, that's an example of just living smartly. All right, F3 Hacker had a lot to say, but one of the things I liked was this idea of learning how to use sites like YouTube and others to fix things and save yourself money. That there's no need to shell out big money for things you can do yourself. And try to pay cash for your vehicles. I think the cash for your vehicle is an interesting idea because certainly it helps you right size what you can afford. And that monthly car payment absolutely eats away at your expense line for, for five or six years. So if you can do it, think about it. And that goes back to that earlier point we were talking about with housing, transportation, and food being the three biggest parts of your expenses. Now, Greg said, don't overthink this. And there are really no get rich quick methods. Most importantly, live below your means, pay yourself first, invest in broad market ETFs and build up a base. And you can reserve becoming a stock picking genius for a few years. And I think that makes a lot of sense. You don't have to come out of the gate thinking that you have to pick individual stocks and play the game like a pro. Just remember, I held pretty much everything in broad-based mutual funds for probably about the first 10 years of my investing life as I got more educated. And that brings us to the next point here from Financial Ascent. And the advice was increase your financial literacy, buy assets and focus on cash flow and income streams, invest early and often, keep fees and expenses low, and don't panic during market volatility. And of course, avoid consumer debt at all costs.
Very sage advice all around. So those are some of the pieces of advice from my amazing millionaire community. And I guess that just leaves you wondering what my advice is. And I think it sounds a little bit something like this. In my mind, it all comes down to mindset. One of the reasons why I want to inspire and encourage you is just to show a vision and remind you that someone like me, who did not have an inheritance, who did not win the lottery, who essentially became a multimillionaire off of a nine to five, that it can be done and that you can do it. And so in addition to all of these practical pieces of advice, I would just say, really look in the mirror and say to yourself, I'm going to make this happen for me. This is going to be my life. I will be financially secure and hopefully will achieve financial freedom a little bit earlier in life so that I can enjoy the things that I want to do. And that, my dreamers, is really my greatest hope for you and the entire reason for this channel. Well, that's it for today. If you want a richer real-time experience with me, you can always follow me on Instagram or Twitter. And if you're doing your own research using Seeking Alpha, feel free to find the link below to subscribe if you want. No pressure. As always, I encourage you to do your own research, then implement and learn by putting it into practice. And as a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. So keep in mind these videos are for entertainment and inspiration only. I'll see you on the flip side.